Look, I am a lazy person. I hate cooking, I hate doing my laundry, I hate walking my dog. I want to know how close we are to getting robots that can actually make my life easier. I've seen countless videos of companies like Tesla, Boston Dynamics, Xiaomi promoting their humanoid robots doing all of these things. But I want to know how close are we to owning robots that are actually useful in our everyday life. I will try to find top 5 humanoid robots that could solve as many of my daily problems as possible and are reasonably priced. Here's my evaluation plan for finding the best fit. First, number of daily problems solved. I will evaluate robots based on their ability to handle tasks such as cooking, laundry, surface cleaning, washing dishes and any extra features they offer. Each task they can perform will earn them one point. Second criterion, user experience. I'll check if the robot is business oriented, requiring programming skills or consumer oriented, not requiring specific skills. If it's consumer oriented, it earns a point. Finally, the last criterion is price. Price can be somewhat subjective, but I'll compare it to the cost of a new car. The average price of a new car purchased by a US citizen is $48,000. So this will be my benchmark. If the robot costs less than a new car, it earns a point. The first robot I found quite interesting and useful was Astrobot S1. It was developed by Stardust Intelligence, a robotics company based in China. I found it interesting because it looks like it actually does things, not just stands there all nice and glowy. The developer says it can easily chop veggies, cut meats and stir pots, earning one point for cooking. They also show it feeding cats and vacuuming, which adds two more points. However, cleaning surfaces and washing dishes after cooking are still left for a human. Exactly the last thing I want to do after a good meal. Next, user experience. Stardust Intelligence states that this robot is designed to be user-friendly and accessible for non-technical users. According to reports, its core programming and operational functionalities are managed through intuitive interfaces and pre-programmed routines. So one more point. And the price. Price, price, price. The thing that sets me back the most from this robot is its price. Well, to get the exact price, you have to contact the company. But what I managed to find on the web is that it costs around 96k dollars. 96k dollars for a robot who does basic cooking and vacuums is a crazy amount. Food deliveries and janitor every two weeks would cost much less. So in total, Astrobot earned four points. Next up is the Phoenix robot by Sanctuary AI. According to its developers, this robot can learn from human demonstrations. Basically, this means you can show it how to cook, clean or mop the floor and it will mimic your actions. So it earns one point each for cooking, cleaning surfaces, doing laundry and making dishes. Plus, I'm giving it an extra point because you can teach it the new tasks you wanted to learn. But initially, this robot is designed for general purpose tasks across industries like healthcare, manufacturing and services. Since you need to teach it how to perform tasks, it's not something you can just take and use right away. Because of this, I'm not giving it a point for user friendliness. And now the price. Same as Astrobot, you have to contact developers to get the exact price, but I found that it costs around 60k dollars. Not as much as the previous one, but still, no point. So in total, it gathered 5 points. The next robot I found interesting for everyday use is H1 by Unitree. It hooked me because developer states that it's designed to be a general purpose machine capable of a wide range of tasks. At first, I thought, wow, that's exactly what I need. But I haven't found any videos of it performing any tasks. The only video I found is how some dude is kicking it. What a freak! We should know if it's good by kicking it? So just because I didn't find any real testing videos of it making general tasks, I'm not giving it any points at daily problem solving. Also, this robot is an entirely plug and play. You likely need a technical expertise to set it up and program it. But it listens to voice commands and as I'm a fan of smart assistants, which you can control with voice commands, I will give it a half a point on user friendliness. And the price is not so friendly either. Its previous model, G1, costs only 60k dollars, but this one is 90k dollars. And that's a lot. So in total, 0.5 points. Pretty poor for a robot that costs 90k dollars. Now Atlas by Boston Dynamics. Well, I can tell straight away that this robot is not user friendly and you need a high programming skills for it. But I had to put it on this list just because it is the most impressive humanoid robot I've seen so far. It has an impressive ability to balance. It can recover from being pushed, which is pretty wild. Plus, it can perform complex movements like jumping and flipping, showcasing its advanced robotics and programming. I didn't find any videos of it cooking food, washing dishes or any other daily tasks. I'm sure you can program it to do all of that, but I can't give it a points here. But there are videos of it carrying things and doing parkour. So I guess I can give it two extra points for carrying stuff and being a parkour buddy. For price, you also have to contact Boston Dynamics. But what I found is that it goes for around 100k dollars. That's a lot. But if I were a millionaire, I would buy it just for gimmicks. 
and maybe to be my parkour buddy. So in total, it gathered two points. And the last one is Optimus Gen 2 by Tesla. It has a sleek humanoid design. It looks really good. You know, the kind of robot that could walk into a fashion show and have everyone asking, is that a new model from Tesla or just my imagination? Elon Musk says that the main feature of the Optimus Gen 2 is the ability to perform a wide range of tasks that can assist humans in everyday activities. And that's what they need from a robot. It can cook, do laundry, wash dishes, clean surfaces, carry your groceries and even play with your kids. Play with your kids. Already six points for daily problems. And it's also easy to use. You don't need any programming skills. So one more point here. And the price. Finally, we have a robot for a quite decent price. It goes around for 20-30k dollars. So total eight points. To wrap everything up, I still believe that technically and function-wise Atlas by Boston Dynamics would be the best out of this. But you need a huge load of programming to make it work the way you want it. And that's why Tesla Optimus Gen 2 wins. And yes, I would like to own one. But the main question I want to ask is, do we really want to start bonding emotionally with machines, surf safe and stay incognito?